皆さんおはようございます。トロジェスゲミンです。ジョーです。ジョーリン選手、インディーリジュチャピオン、いきます。Hey guys, this is Jordan on the Total v s t Gaming Channel.、Uh, I got a Dragon's Alive build for you guys. I got first place at、uh, Regionals in Indianapolis.、Uh, it's just normal Neo's Alive build.、Uh, went 9 0 with it.、Uh, first, the main card is this、uh, Dragon's Alive flag assigned by Amigo from the Bloody Fight channel, the Japanese channel.、Uh, I credit all my wins to this card right here.、Uh, and then the buddy will be the、uh, Destructor. Uh, you mainly just make him the buddy so his cost isn't so heavy when you first play him the first time. It's、uh, pay two life, draw two cards. Alright, going into the size zero. So you got a forward structure. Like I said, as a buddy, you、uh, don't want to make his cost too heavy. It's the first time you play him. You have the mob over here in the background. He's laughing for some reason.、Uh, so yeah, it's just your draw engine basically. You got. Kong 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 for more filtering and getting to your side three. It's、oh. actually errated.、Uh, it says, it's supposed to say Dragon Chief Emperor or any side three card. I had to call a judge over to verify this at one point in the tournament. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Get you your good, good cards.、Uh, we play Star Remnant. He makes all your Neo Dragons cost one gauge less, so he opens up some pretty good plays.、Uh, you can almost. Always get some good plays OTK with this card.、Um, what's, the, what's the maximum amount of damage you're doing with this deck? 26. 26? Pretty impressive. One turn, yeah. Against our fellow Total Justice Gaming member, Josiah Spicer. <laughs>、uh, he's in the A squad.、Um, hi, Josiah. <laughs> Uh, the guy, the only other Zwei player in the tournament made this his buddy.、Uh, I forgot to ask him why. I wanted to get his opinion on that. I don't see why. Matt, if you're watching, why, send, shoot me a message. Why is the structure better than that, his buddy? What? Why is the structure better than that? Because、uh, you have to pay two life for this card, and buddy calling it reduces the,、oh, okay, so. the amount you have to pay. So you get an extra card basically for free, everything about it. So you, just, you pay one less life the first time you call it.、Uh, for the last side zero, we have Pisca Pisca. He、uh, has some sweet plays with the. Over Dimension guys, where if you use their skills to put three in the soul and then call this one out. So you use the Over Dimension to get two Triple Busters and something else. And normally you would have to Soul Blast the Triple Buster, but you can get two Triple Busters, then call this from hand, put this into soul, and then Soul Blast that out and keep the two Triple Busters in for maximum damage. Your avatar? Yeah, Triple Buster, my avatar. And、uh, it just gets you gauge free the card. On the sides, ones we have、uh, Dragon Arms Liger.、Uh, when he's soul blasted from a Neo Dragon and put in the drop zone, you gain two gauge. He、uh, just more gauge. This deck has a lot of gauge acceleration.、Uh, this card, I don't know his name. Retainer of Demonic Dragon Resurrected Dragon Bones. I hated writing that on my deck list. Uh, when he enters the board, you mill two, and then you can pay one gauge to add a size three card from your、um, uh, drop zone to your hand. This won me my game against our fellow Totus's gaming member, Trey Ragsdale, who、uh, we were both at five damage. He had bots, full board, three cards in hand. I had just this card and one gauge. And I called this, paid one gauge to get Triple Buster back, and just hoped he didn't have shields, and he did not. And he was very salt, and I was very happy, and we lived happily ever after. I think the one of the best cards in the deck, though. Is this? Yeah,、uh, for size twos, we have Thunder Knight's Rising Flare Dragon.、Uh, pay one gauge,、uh, select a size two or. Stupid. Yeah, two, size two or greater.、Uh, and then mill three cards, blow it up, and then if, in the cards you milled were two dragon attributes,、uh, you draw a card. So he just mills and gets your、um, drop zone set up, and also lets you draw a card, opens up more plays.、Uh, for more gauge acceleration, we have three、um, ball dragons, style of impact. You just, when he comes out, you pay a life, gain three gauge, and just opens up plays. For the last size two, we have、uh, Drag Solar. He,、uh, when you play him on board, you can、uh, select a Neo Dragon from Drop Zone and call it on top of this guy by paying his call cost. So、uh, if you just run out of over dimensions and you top deck this guy, you can get one back from your Drop Zone. It's the same thing. On the size threes, we have、uh, Lucian Black. You just Call him, gain two gauge, that's it. Gauge accelerate.、Um, three. So 
Philosophia, you can discard him and uh, pay a gauge and restand a size 3 monster on your board. So it just gets another attack, and when you have your main grade 3s boosted with a bunch of crits, you can get more damage in. Uh, the best card of the deck, my avatar, uh, triple buster, won me every single game. One not being reverse hollow? Uh, it is reverse hollow, it's just not secret pack reverse hollow. So don't pay any attention to that. <laughs> uh, when he's in the soul of a Neo Dragon, yes. uh, he gets plus three and a crit. So you basically just load up the soul with a bunch of these and just hit face and they die. And best, you win. best turn one play in the game. In the yep. drop the they return one play is just call this out and attack. <laughs> I'll never see it coming. <laughs> Going on to the key cards of the deck. I feel like you should have all those at the same time. Just one. Because all these, the last ones are all the best ones, right? Yeah. Like, okay. Does that all fit in the frame? <laughs> or at least one of each. I guess with some weeks you talk about them. Okay. I'll just keep it right there. So, Iwagite. Uh, call cost is 2 gauge, and put the top card of your deck into the soul, and then you can pay 2 life, uh, look at top 3 cards, or mill the top 3 cards rather, and then call any card from them and it becomes a size 0, so you can play this guy, he'll be your size 3, and then you can pay 2 life and uh, mill top 3 for an even bigger guy, but he'll become a size 0, so you can have like a bunch of monsters on board and just wreck, wreck face. Uh, here's one of the other key cards, uh, X Dimension, the over, the over X Dimension. Uh, he's pay to gauge and put three cards from your drop zone into the soul, and then you can soul blast one card to get either double attack or penetrate. Uh, normally you're only going to do that for the double attack because you're going to put triple buster into soul and give him penetrate anyway. Uh, so, yeah. That's all I got. That's all I got for him. This guy's best, ne uh, best name in game. Uh, that's card second to Triple Buster. Well, I mean, uh, it's just funny because his name is two over the division. Over, but he's so. next level. <laughs> next level. Uh, this is the main main grade three. Uh, pay three gauge and put three cards from drop zone into soul. Uh, and then you can soul blast two to give him triple attack. And another effect is when you destroy a monster on your opponent's board, deal one damage. So you basically just throw this guy out, load him up with a bunch of triple busters, and hit face. You seem like triple busters. Triple don't buster win, is it? MVP, man. <laughs> Yeah, this card combined with the next card can do like 26 damage. That's the max up. Uh, last card of the main deck is the Impact Monster, Zenith Slater. Uh, it's pay three gauge and put it on top of a uh, size three monster on the board. Uh, when he attacks, uh, if you have six different attributes and dragon attributes in your uh, drop zone, you automatically destroy a monster on your opponent's board. Uh, he also has double attack and soul guard. So, the main play of the deck is just calling out this guy, getting this guy into soul however you can, and then attacking, and then putting this guy on top, and you just basically win after that. There's a lot more in depth plays. Uh, go through some sample plays. <laughs> Let's see. Get a, a nice little sample play here. Let me get it ready. Uh, sideboard off now. Alright, so. This out goes in. Alright, so these are in drop zone. Your hand looks something like this. You call out this, you put these three into the soul. You call out Pisca, gain a gauge, and you put it in your soul. Uh, you soul blast these two out. He now has triple attack and four crit. Uh, your hand is the impact and the restand. So you attack, you pierce for four. If you blow up their monster, you deal another, deal five. Restand, attack, deal another four. That's nine damage. Restand, attack, that's 13 damage. And then you go impact. He's got the same amount of crits in soul now. So you attack again for four damage. That's 17. Restand, attack again. That's 21. And then you can pitch this from hand by paying a gauge. Restand, and then attack for 25 damage. So it's only really a four card combo, uh, as long as you have the triple busters and drops them. Now how often was that pulled off? Uh, only about a third of the games. Normally they just die after the first few attacks with this guy, but if they manage to live then we can go 
So do you, do you remember any of the maximum damage output you had last weekend? Because um, I know you said 25 is the max you did with somebody that was here. I think 22 damage in, my, in the finals, game one, uh, FTK'd him on my first turn, I went 22 damage. Same combo, except, let's see. I think I only had one triple buster in the soul, that's why I went down. Damn, a dang, one avatar short. I know. <laughs> and finally, we'll just go on to the sideboard. I actually didn't put a lot of effort into the sideboard. So let me go ahead and ask this real quick. Did you side at all? Yes, I sided a bunch. You did, okay. Um, mainly... Alright, I guess I wouldn't say a bunch. Okay, I mean, probably like one game. So, the mirror match is probably the only time you side decked at all. Yeah, uh, round one, I played against Heroes. Um, Terran, uh, he had over on his deck, so I sided in three of these just to keep my guys from being negated. Okay, but go ahead and go through it. I'm sorry, I just wanted to ask. So, first card is the uh, what is this called? Heaven's Arms Zena. Uh, I only put this in to play against like uh, burn decks. Uh, so, if you get him into soul with your triple attack guy, you'll just gain three life back. And then you ride on top of them with your impact, you gain another two life, so it just gains a bunch of life back if they're burning you too fast. Because you already pay a lot of life in this deck, so you need to get back some life you can. And then four of this other Dragon Arms guy, or Meteor Arms, or whatever. Uh, he keeps your guys from being negated. All your cards' effects uh, and the cards in soul from being negated. So if they're playing against uh, stars with their Great Fate, or Oberon, or Style of Justice, I can just side these in and stop that. And the last card, uh, Debris Sweeper. Uh, if he's in the soul and you attack, um, you can choose a card from your opponent's drop zone uh, and put it on the bottom of their deck. And then his other skill is if he's in the soul, they can't call cards from drop zone. So really good against Onis, which I kind of have a bad matchup too because they negate uh, dragons from getting bored. And then um, it's good against the mirror match. So it's really only in there for those two. Uh, matchups, but it definitely won me one of the games in the finals. I guess the last round of Swiss won me one of the games against the mirror match because the only other Y player there main deck this and that wrecked me game one. So. All right, is there anything else? You need to talk about? Any questions? Okay. So, will you be playing this at Worlds? Uh, if it's still relevant, then. Maybe from it does get a couple things in the future, like the new Jackknife, uh, the Dungeon World Jackknife. It's really good to add in there. What about that Hero World Jackknife? Hero World Jackknife? Oh, uh, no, I don't think we play that. Okay. Alright, so I guess that's it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Later.